topic of Unit 5. What is Unit 5 about? Just raise your hand. World War II. World War II. What specifically about World War II? Juliana? Very good, the bond repair treatment. So that's really what our focus is. So before we dive more into that, now yesterday we had the video about the atomic bomb. We learned, you know, just some facts about that. So today we're actually going to learn a little bit about Japan, and then we'll start putting all that information together next week. And we're actually going to start with our task one on Monday, reading about the actual attack of Hiroshima during World War II. Right. Now, I, if you're by yourself that time, but if you're with a partner, I'm going to be able to talk about um, what you're what what you writing. So again, okay. just to recap, all the... All right. Hi, Jen. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, so we just watched your teaching video, yes. which is always awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I hate listening to myself talk. So, um, What did you kind of think as we were watching? Well, um... I did like the lesson. I did not realize how long I talked because I can see like their heads are down and they're starting to lean. And so I think maybe I could have shortened my instruction. Yeah. A little bit. Um, I'm going but I also too. know that that class does need very specific instruction. So that's mm -hmm. probably why I did take a while to walk them through it. But I also don't want to lose their interest in the assignment. But I think overall, I thought it, it went pretty well. Yeah, because this is this was your co-talk class, yes. correct? So the other teacher in there was yes. also there for, okay, cool. Right. Um, on a scale of like one to 10 then, one being like the worst lesson you've ever taught in your whole life, okay. 10 being the best, where do you feel like that lesson would rank? I would, I would give it a solid five. I, you know, thinking back and watching what I was doing, I don't think it was the most engaging lesson. I think it was a good intro to what we were doing for our unit. Yeah. Because we're talking about, you know, Japan and, you know, World War II and the bombing. And so I think it was a good intro to get them to have some background knowledge of Japan. But I feel like my delivery was a little flat. Okay. Okay. And this is the first time I, I've actually done that specific assignment. Okay. So, so I've new. never done it before. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. That's something that we could even, like, um, improve upon for next year, right? Right, absolutely. Um, so, you said, like, one of the things that pleased you is you felt like this was a really good intro yes. to the unit. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you were happy with that you did or said, anything that, like, really pleased you when we were watching it? I think the kids were, even though some of them are, you know, kind of, their heads are kind of, I, I felt like they were receptive. Yeah. I think it was easy for them to understand. And like I said, with that class, I do feel like I give a little bit more instruction, more step-by-step, -step because I think they need that. So I was pleased with what the assignment actually was. I think it was a good intro for them. And it's also a good preview for seventh grade, because that's what they'll learn about in seventh grade. So I, did, oh, awesome. I, I was pleased about that. Okay, awesome. Um, what do you think you could have changed to get that five closer to a 10? Well, one thing is they had to write on paper and one of my goals every year is to try to be more I don't know the right word technology driven yeah um so they were writing their answers on paper okay so that's probably something I would like to change for the future and um they only had one website so maybe I could have taken the time to add more websites so they were a little bit more challenged because this was like one website and the information was like right there in front of yeah. them. So maybe you challenge them a little bit more. Um, so definitely things that I can improve upon. I like the lesson, but just some things that I would like to change next time we do it. Yeah. And I mean, you mentioned this was the first time doing this activity. Right. So I think that both of those are like very achievable goals mm -hmm. for that. Um, what do you think, I know you mentioned like what you could do for the lesson mm -hmm. to make it closer to a 10. What would your students be doing differently? Like, what would your students look like if it were closer to a 10, do you think? I think they would be more engaged. I think writing on the paper was not ideal for them. I think that was kind of boring. So I think <clears throat> if I did it differently, they would look differently because they would be more engaged, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think that, like, this class in particular or your students as a whole would be more engaged with more technology-based I think as activities. a whole, because I did it all day. Okay. 
um, this was the second time I did it. So I, with my first period, it was kind of like my guinea pigs and seeing, and, and they did well. I mean, all classes did well with it, but could it have been more engaging using technology? Yes, but that is also my weakness because I get scared and I'm kind of old school. Um, so I need to learn to step out of my comfort yeah, yeah, yeah. and do more things on the computer because that's what they want. They want to be on the computer. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so how do you think we could measure that that change that we want to see? Um, do you think it would be based on um, like the grade they would receive on the assignment? Mm -hmm. Do you think you want to measure it just based on what your students look like during the lesson? How quickly they get it done? What do you... I think if it would be possible to measure engagement, I think, yeah. you know, because they, like I said, they got it done, but there wasn't a lot of excitement in doing it, mm -hmm. even though I let them work with partners. Um, so I think grade-wise, they'll be fine because they were able to find the answers and it should have been an easy mm -hmm. A assignment. So I would like, if next time I do something like this, to put it more on canvas or on you know with technology and I think I could see the level of excitement or engagement change and I think that would be what I would want to measure okay so is that what we want our goal to be or for your goal to be is to increase engagement by using technology or yes. integrating more technology yes. okay awesome um, if you could hit that goal by the end of the year do you think that you would be excited about that would that matter to you would that matter it to your would. students it would because I think technology is so important right now and we're really being pushed for more technology driven lessons and I have to get out of my comfort of wanting it to be on paper. I just trust it on paper because that's how I started teaching and that's how I learned in school. We didn't have computers yeah. back in my day. <laughs> um, we did everything on paper so I'm, I've always been more comfortable where I can see it and hold it but I would like my goal to be to get more comfortable because they're going to be more excited if I put it on technology, you know, some kind of, uh, incorporate some kind of technology. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you think the next steps um, for that goal would be? Like a very tangible next step for you, for me, for us? Um, well, I know how strong you are with technology. So I think my next step would, I would like for you to help me like how can I take some like questions on paper mm -hmm. and put it on a platform like Canvas where I'm not running copies, I don't have to worry about did I make enough copies, I don't have to worry about if a student's absent, did I save them a copy, like for you to help me put everything on there because I'm not comfortable and I don't know how to get them to write answers to something on Canvas. Like I don't okay. know how to take a document that I type and put it on cameras where they could do their answers. Okay. That's just yeah. not my strength. Okay. So we want to learn some new, like, integration with Canvas specifically. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, do we, would you be interested in trying platforms outside of Canvas? Because Canvas is, like, our learning management platform mm -hmm. for the district. But we also have some really cool, like, other outside resources that the county pays mm -hmm. for. Um, would you be interested in learning about those as well and how to integrate them? Absolutely. I don't even know, honestly, what our county <laughs> pays for. Like, I'm very just like, yeah, you know, I, I, I know Canvas, but I don't know everything it does. Like, even with our new boards, we have great new boards, but I really don't know. I just do the basics. Yeah. I can turn it on and I can freeze, and that's pretty much all I, I do with it. So I would love to be more technology comfortable so I can do that with the kids. Okay, absolutely. I think a good, and you tell me if you agree, I think a good first step would be like taking an assignment you have, like you mentioned, and just starting with putting it on Canvas. Mm -hmm. And there's some really cool things that uh, Canvas offers, um, like the annotation tool, integration with Microsoft OneDrive, which like all of our students and us have access to. Okay. Um, Lots of cool things that they have that we can focus on first, because I think that'd be a really good first step. Okay. And then, like, with that, we can work on the board, and I can show you some tricks and things with the board, too, that would make presenting that material to your classes a little bit more smooth as well. Yes, I would love that. Um, 
for the students, would you, I know we're trying to increase engagement. Mm -hmm. um, one teaching strategy that uh, might interest you is like a flipped classroom um, oh, okay. where it's very minimal for you. You're more mm -hmm. of a facilitator role. So you kind of how you did in the video, um, not as long of an instructional period, mm -hmm. but shorten it to like maybe five minutes, give them bare bones, and then it's student led. Students have to figure it out on their own, go mm -hmm. through, you know, whatever the lesson is, whatever the, the activity is. Is that something that you would also be interested in? Absolutely. In looking at? Yes. Just as Absolutely. like a teaching strategy. Okay, cool. I think that we've got some good next steps okay. to kind of get us to your goal of increasing engagement with the use of technology. Mm -hmm. um, so let's plan on meeting again and I can okay. show you some, some cool, cool stuff. I love that. Cool. I appreciate it. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Jen.